Hi guys, welcome back. I'm so excited. I am at last back. So today I'm sharing one of my lunch menus which is fish head curry and lal saag and I'm preparing lal saag. Uh, for that I'm heating around 1 teaspoon of uh, 1 to 2 teaspoon of mustard oil. Uh, in that I've thrown in one red chili, whole red chili and I'll roast uh, some garlic till it is brown and then I add in the lal saag to it which I've cleaned and uh, chopped and frankly that is the part which I feel very lazy at uh, so while adding salt to the spinach or the lal saag uh, you have to be careful because the saag really comes down in volume uh, very it becomes very less in volume so I've added around a quarter teaspoon of salt and if needed I'll add it later on and if you notice I've forgotten to add the green chilies uh, so I'm adding it right now um, otherwise I add it before just adding the saag once the garlic is done uh, so yes while the saag is getting done I'll just prepare the fish head so for that I'm adding some turmeric and salt to it and I'll just uh, make sure that it is coated properly so let me uh, tell you a secret when I was uh, unmarried or maiden during those time I really did not like fish at curry but my husband loved it so much that I started cooking it more and more and to give him company I also started eating it and uh, frankly later on I started loving the fish at curry so yes I've just uh, heated the karhai and uh, with around two tablespoons of oil and I'll just make sure that I fry the fish head properly on both sides uh, in the meantime my saag is also ready so yes uh, you can see uh, there are brown marks and if needed you just have to be careful you know so that you can press and turn and twist the fish head uh, to ensure that it is properly fried so yes it is done and I'm taking it out in the meantime I have also chopped the wet masala and uh, I'll take you through that so in the same karai I will be adding the potatoes uh, which I have made into cubes this is around two potatoes and I'll just fry them properly I'm not adding any extra oil to it uh, this will take around three to four minutes in the meantime I'll just blend the masala for that I've added the cardamom and the cinnamon stick a few cloves of garlic around three four a half inch of ginger and uh, two medium onions so I'll make a paste of this and if you prefer traditionally actually the garam masala is added at the end uh, but I put it along with the masala but when my in-laws are here with me I follow the traditional style so now I'm just uh, frying the rice uh, so I've cleaned and washed this rice and it is around four tablespoon of rice so I'll roast it till the color changes and uh, once that is done which is around half a minute or one minute I'll just take it off the flame now for cooking the masala I'm adding a little bit more oil it's around two tablespoon of oil again uh, and uh, I'll just heat it and uh, to this I'm adding a little bit of cumin seeds which is around half a teaspoon if you want to add the bay leaves at this point uh, you can do that and uh, I'll just fry the wet masala uh, till the raw smell is gone so in between I'm also adding some chopped tomatoes and this is totally optional you can skip this I know many people don't add tomato to it but I love doing it and I've also added half a teaspoon of salt which uh, really helps the tomato to cook faster now in the powdered masala I added one teaspoon of red chili powder half a teaspoon of haldi or turmeric powder one teaspoon of cumin powder and uh, two to three teaspoon of coriander powder I always prefer to add more coriander and uh, I love that flavor that comes out uh, so this is a good measure to identify if your masala is done when your masala comes into a lump and is not sticking all around the karhai and uh, to this I'm adding around two two and a half cup of uh, warm water um, yeah adding warm water actually doesn't give that temperature fluctuation and that way your gravy tastes much better I hope so <laughs> that's the reason of doing it uh, so now I'm adding the two bay leaves and uh, the fried fish head potato and the rice and I'll make sure that uh, everything is immersed 
basically the rice and the potato and I'll cover and cook it till the rice is done uh, which takes around 10 to 12 minutes in the karhai if you want to make it faster you can add it to the pressure cooker and after 12 minutes this is all ready to be served so guys if you are Bengali and if you have prepared fish at curry and you add something else to it or do it in a different way do let me know in the comment section I love to know that and also if you are not and if you have never tasted the fish at curry and you are trying to going to try this out uh, do let me know how it has turned out see you next time with a new video till then enjoy my previous videos bye take care